Being the very biggest of anything can be something to aspire to, like being the tallest building or the biggest bodybuilder. Or even the biggest ocean liner, except maybe not always that last one. But being the very biggest animal of your kind is sometimes basically nothing more than a death sentence and nobody aspires to that. From a very noisy invertebrate to a bird-eating spider, here are the 20 biggest animals ever found in the world. Number 20. Giant Gippsland Earthworm First up we have these little wriggly creatures that are rarely seen but are large enough that they can be heard as they crawl beneath the surface of the earth. That is a big old worm. The giant Gippsland earthworm is a sizable invertebrate that can only be found in a very small area in Australia, namely the creeks of South and West Gippsland. This is the soft and wet earth that this creature prefers, and it can be heard squelching its way through the dark clay burrows that it tunnels beneath your feet. These unusually big earthworms can measure more than three feet long, but despite this size, the life and habits of the creature are pretty much unknown. The giant earthworm's entire life cycle occurs underground, so as you can imagine, that makes it kind of tricky to observe for us surface dwellers. Estimates about the lifespan of this worm range between 10 and 20 years. The giant Gippsland earthworm mates just once a year during the spring and early summer, and the single egg capsule is laid in the burrow, with the eggs taking over 12 months to hatch. So in many ways, it's not that surprising that this invertebrate is endangered. With the eternal problem of shrinking habitats, and these guys didn't exactly begin with much habitat to lose, what with global warming and all, the risks of drought is increasing. As you know, worms cannot survive a drying out, so these weird creatures are at risk of disappearing from the earth altogether. So should you be wandering in that very specific corner of Victoria, Australia, don't touch these worms. They're really fragile and can't even heal a teeny tiny wound. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Coconut Crab have you seen the size of these colossal crustaceans? These things are gigantic and ever such a tiny bit terrifying as well. Named after its favorite foodstuff, the coconut crab sounds all right, not too menacing, I suppose. That is, until you learn that these creatures can literally rip apart said coconuts with their massive claws. As if that wasn't alarming enough, they don't restrict themselves to a fruitarian diet. Oh no! These crabs won't turn down a tasty mammal, and they're pretty partial to the odd bird too. They'll also scavenge all kinds of gross stuff like dead animals and other crustaceans, and won't pass up any kind of carcass really, even a human one. Oh, and as they measure about three feet across and have the strongest grip in the entire animal kingdom, if these crabs decide that they want to eat something, there's not a whole lot that anyone can do about it. Although the coconut crab lives beside the sea, they are mainly land-dwelling by the time they reach adulthood, only nipping into the water for a snack in a pinch. So if the general massive size and appearance of this monster crab isn't enough to give you the willies, just imagine a whole swarm of these creatures clattering across a beach, devouring everything in their wake. Because that's what's going to give us all nightmares. Number 18. Giant Walking Stick now, this insect may indeed have the honor of being the biggest of all the North American walking sticks, but that doesn't really make it a monster-sized creature. Just how big is the so-called giant walking stick? Well, actually, it's between three and six inches. That's nothing to write home about. In fact, you could even wonder what it has to be boasting about in the first place. These insects are called walking sticks on the account of their shape and general similarity to, well, a stick. The walking part is due to the fact that they walk. 
It's fascinating, I know. So the reason that these insects try to make themselves look as much like a stick as possible is because they're really slow walkers and they couldn't get away from a predator if they tried. Their best bet is just to stand still and pretend to be a boring old twig until any potential aggressor loses interest and goes off in search of something decidedly juicier. Number 17, Goliath Beetles. Ah, oh, heck, these are some aptly named creatures, the biggest and heaviest beetles on the planet. Goliath beetles are a creepy, crawly nightmare. That is, if your nightmare is big, fat beetles. Goliath beetles are crazy strong. These big bugs are believed to be able to lift a load that's 850 times heavier than their own weight, so that's quite a lot. They're also native to Southeast Africa, preferring the warm climate and dense rainforest in that region. These bugs also kind of look pretty cool. They have a snazzy array of colors and display distinctive patterns on their backs. Male goliaths will also have a horn on their heads, which they use for fighting other males in fierce battles over the females during mating season. It can all get rather heated in the insect world when creepy crawlies are trying to make babies, although quite why any of these guys are so keen to get down to it is a bit of a mystery. The male goliath beetle will be so very spent following mating that he actually dies from all of the excitement. Number 16. The Chinese Giant Salamander The endangered Chinese giant salamanders are the world's largest living amphibian, and actually there are three distinct species of these. The Chinese, then the Japanese, and finally the North American Hellbender, which wins the prize for having the best name for sure. The Chinese giant salamander is the largest of these creatures, and it can grow to lengths of up to six feet and can live as long as humans do perhaps even beyond. They're found mainly in Rocky Mountain rivers in China, where they eat a diet of delicious fish, frogs, insects, and shellfish, along with the occasional small salamander themselves. Such is life at the top of the food chain. These unusual creatures live their entire lives underwater, but they don't have gills. Instead, they breathe by absorbing oxygen through their porous skin, which is a pretty clever adaptation. Their skin's also the source of their ability to sense prey in the water around them. They don't have the best eyesight, so they rely on these sensory nodes that they have from their head to their tail. These nodes can feel vibrations in the water, which means they don't need light to hunt for prey and are especially active during the night. Although there are initiatives in place to try and boost the population of this ancient animal, their numbers still remain endangered and there's still a long way to go in protecting them in their wild habitat in the mountains of China. Number 15. Giant Squid these epic sea monsters are so cool! They're the stuff of legend, age-old tales of fishing boats being wrestled by these beasts. And when you see the size of some of these giant squid, you're going to understand why. The biggest ever recorded giant squid measured a colossal 59 feet long, weighing a ton, and that would make some monstrous calamari rings for sure. They may actually get bigger than that though. The huge invertebrates are notoriously difficult to study, and much of their behavior and the knowledge about them is generally unknown. The closest that scientists usually get is if a dead giant squid washes up on the beach somewhere, or they're accidentally caught by surprised fishermen. They live in the very deep ocean, and it's believed that they mainly eat fish, other squid, and quite possibly even small whales. These creatures are equipped with eight arms and two additional tentacles that they use for feeding, literally like hands for popping their food into their beaks. The giant squid also sports a set of gigantic peepers. Their eyes are the biggest of all the creatures on Earth, measuring a whopping 10 inches across. This means that down in the sea where it's really dark, they can likely see their prey before they see it. Another awesome adaptation. Number 14. The biggest rodent on Earth, the capybara. Although closely related to guinea pigs, oh, twinkle, capybaras do not share their size with them. 
These are the world's biggest rodents, and they can measure up to two feet high from toe to shoulder, weighing as much as 143 pounds. These cute creatures? Well, they're no lightweights. The capybara is native to South America, where they live in forests, food plains, and wetlands, so it should come as no surprise that these funny creatures are excellent swimmers. They have partially webbed toes as well. The pig-shaped rodents live in large groups, partly as a kind of protection against predators, because capybaras are eaten by loads of bigger animals, and some smaller ones too, but they're also pretty sociable. Perhaps the weirder and more gross thing about a capybara is their diet. They eat a whole ton of different plants and grasses and need to gnaw all day long to keep their teeth under control, as like other rodents, the capybara's teeth never stop growing. Sounds like a fairly regular vegetarian diet, I guess. But these guys have a morning habit that might make you feel a bit icky. They eat their own poo. However, they only do it in the morning. Apparently, this is when it contains the most protein. Ew. It is also on account of their diet of grass being pretty hard to digest, so eating their poop gives them the delicious opportunity to digest their dinner twice. Mmm, delicious. Number 13. Giant African Land Snail this naughty snail is one massive pest. Despite the fact that some bright sparks seem hell-bent on keeping these gargantuan gastropods as pets, it is actually a really terrible idea to get involved with them. Growing up to 11 to 15 inches long, the giant African land snail is the largest of all the snails on planet Earth, but that definitely doesn't make it the best. First of all, it's actually illegal in the United States to keep these creatures as pets. They are one of the most successful invasive species in the world, and no, that is still not a good thing. These pests have wreaked havoc everywhere that they've taken up residence, and they even cause harm to human health. So, the appeal of the giant African land snail is a bit of a mystery. Apparently, these snails have some nasty parasites in their slime that's actually toxic to humans, so anyone who is mad enough to handle them should definitely wear gloves. Not to mention the fact that it's believed that the same slime may even spread a form of deadly meningitis. Why anyone would want to get up close to these gastropods is beyond me. I don't care how cute their little faces are. Number 12. Galapagos Tortoises Saddle up because we're heading south. You thought the tortoises were named after the islands? Well, think again. These big guys are called Galapagos tortoises on the account of their huge shell. The word is Spanish for saddleback, so the tortoises are what name the islands. Or maybe that was all the colonialism. Who can say, really? These incredible big animals weigh up to 700 pounds. even though they only eat a vegetarian diet of grasses, fruits, and plants. And perhaps the thing that most people know about tortoises is that they live long lives. That's certainly true of the Galapagos tortoise. They can live for at least 150 years. This is made possible by the fact that they have no natural predators when they're grown beyond about a year, and they can go for long periods without food or water. In fact, the main risk to these amazing animals is actually human behavior. They used to be hunted for their meat and shells, and in the present day, the destruction of their habitats, along with over-tourism, has contributed to a decline in their numbers. But these gentle giants have to be one of the most amazing examples of a massive animal, and oh, they're just adorable as well, aren't they? Number 11. Komodo Dragon the wonderfully weird Komodo dragon has the honor of being the world's heaviest lizard, and it doesn't disappoint. These guys are really big and absolutely awesome. Even though they can't fly or actually breathe fire for that matter, there is still something about these extraordinary animals that just blows my mind. Komodo dragons are also huge, but it's easy to find out their weight, because they come with scales after all. <laughs> and they can weigh more than 300 pounds. But when you consider that these guys can eat 80% of their own weight in just one meal, that explains how they manage to get such an impressive size. Oh, and these big monitor lizards are psychos. 
Seriously, they have some of the most ruthless and downright terrifying murder skills in the animal kingdom. Even though they might look quite cute and entertaining at times, the Komodo dragon has a nasty venomous bite, which means that even if their prey does manage to escape their powerful jaws, they're still in deep, deep trouble. The venom works slowly, causing paralysis for the unfortunate recipient, until they're eventually rendered completely helpless. That's when the dragon will begin its feast. As if the idea of being slowly eaten alive by a savage lizard isn't enough to give you nightmares, then you should know that these guys do in fact sometimes partake of the odd human, and they aren't fussy if that human happens to be alive or dead. These grave-robbing reptiles are known for digging up corpses and eating them, and for the Komodo dragon, the more stinking and rotten the flesh, the better. Number 10. Goliath Frog Well, this is the biggest frog in the world. This list is really riveting, isn't it? Please forgive my terrible punning, it feels like I've overcurmitted to this by now. The Goliath Frog, aptly named, is a big amphibian that has all the credentials to hang out on our list of the most plus-sized animals on Earth. My cat is as big as these frogs, and he's scared of the regular sized ones, so I imagine meeting one of these whoppers would have him cowering in the cupboard under the stairs indefinitely. Goliath frogs can weigh over 7 pounds and measure 12 and a half inches and need to eat a whole lot in order to maintain their hefty physique. And that diet regularly includes crustaceans, insects, fish, and other amphibians, and if given half the chance, they're not opposed to eating the occasional bat. Which, I don't know about you, but to me it sounds a little bit chewy. Number 9. Maine Coon Cats These big fat cats come from, you guessed it, Maine, New England. They were kept as farm cats, household mousers, and ship cats since at least the early 19th century, and they're the official cat of the state of Maine. Who even knew there was such a thing? What other official state things are there? Perhaps there should be an official state guinea pig. My pet guinea pig Twinkle would qualify. As a sizable breed of Moggy, it should come as no surprise that the largest domestic cat world record belongs to a Maine Coon cat that went by a name almost as long as its body. Come on. Inside. My Maine's Stuart Gilligan, also known as Stewie, measured a whopping four feet long. The average Maine Coon is certainly large, but not as big as old Stewie was. They generally weigh anywhere between 9 and 18 pounds, but can get as big as 20 pounds, probably on the account of all the hunting they do, although if they are anything like most psychotic cats. They actually prefer just to partake in the murder and disembowelment parts of the hunt and simply leave a headless corpse with its innards spread liberally along the hallway rather than actually eating anything. Number 8. Giant Amazon Leech Try not to have nightmares about this next one, but there are some of the biggest and most ugliest bloodsuckers on planet Earth in the Amazonian leech. This one is the same one that you've likely seen in any movie where somebody gets in the water somewhere in South America and then emerges with their back covered in black slugs. These freshwater leeches can grow up to a disconcertingly large 17.72 inches long and a chubby 3.93 inches wide. The giant Amazon leech can be found in the mouth of the Amazon River all the way to Venezuela and the Guianas where they mostly hang out in the marshland of coastal wetlands. They live underwater for the most part on rocks and other debris as they digest their tasty blood dinners. Between the 1890s and the 1970s, people believed that the species was extinct, but then they collected two adult specimens in French Guiana, from which lots of icky baby leeches were produced. In fact, one of them was named Grandma Moses, and she produced no fewer than 750 babies and provided so many years of valuable research material to the scientists at UC Berkeley that they mourned her passing when she eventually died and placed her remains in the National Worm Collection. The highest honor available to a parasitic worm, no doubt. 
Number 7. Mammoth Donkeys Now that's one giant ass. As well as their height, these donkeys have other extra large body parts. Their ears are huge and often measure 33 inches, all the better to hear you with. Actually, that's one reason donkeys have developed big ears, so that they can hear each other in the wild if they wander too far from home. These lengthy lugs also help the donkey's internal temperature control system, as they have large blood vessels in their ears that allows for easy cooling in hot weather. These big old donks were bred in the era before the Revolutionary War, when they were developed to sire mules, which were bigger and stronger than others, so that they could do all the donkey work of lugging stuff around the country for the growing agricultural industry and general transportation. And so, the size of the mammoth donkey was very much on purpose. They were the custom-built trucks of their day, toting everyone's stuff all over the show. I'd tell you a joke about donkeys, but they're all lame. Number 6. Queen Alexandra's Birdwing is the biggest butterfly in the world. This is an extremely rare tropical butterfly, most remarkable for its massive size. It's found in the tropical rainforests of Papua New Guinea, but their habitat is only in a very small area, possibly about 450 square miles. And it's shrinking all the time because of deforestation due to palm oil production. These big butterflies are named bird wings, partly on the account of their wingspan and partly because of their wing movement. These extraordinary insects can have a whopping wingspan of up to about 30 centimeters, which is 12 inches. But what is this thing eating to become so big? Well, when they're a caterpillar, these insects eat a lot. You all know the story, but they mainly eat a particular long-leafed vine. Then, when they're fully grown beautiful butterflies, they're restricted to eating daintily with their proboscis, which is a kind of tube tongue that they unroll to sip liquid like posh ladies. Oh, and a cool thing about these big beauties? They're actually poisonous. They get their poison from a toxic pipeline plant, which offers them a degree of protection as a species. Anything that nibbles on a bird wing will get a particularly unpleasant tummy ache and will learn a valuable lesson not to eat brightly colored flappy things, even if they are oh so pretty. Number 5. Gigas Clam is the Largest Mollusk of the World the gigas clam is a big deal. By far the largest species of clam on the planet, these freakishly massive mollusks look like they could be an alien life form. The gigas clam can measure more than 47 inches, weighing a scale-busting 440 pounds. The biggest ever recorded measured was an incomprehensible 6 feet and 600 pounds. It's a clam after all. The sheer novelty of their size has resulted in these clams being harvested for food and for the aquarium trade. Both of those activities may be putting the population of gigas clams at great risk of extinction. as the overfishing of the species has caused their numbers to plummet and they're now considered to be vulnerable. As well as being the biggest, these are also amongst the most endangered of clams, so as a result, most examples of this colossal clam are nowadays cultivated in captivity to be supplied as food, although aquarium enthusiasts are also keen purchasers of this weird alien mollusk. Number 4. Brahma Chicken these are some big birds. Standing in at about 30 inches tall, weighing around 8 to 10 pounds, it's clear why these things are known as the king of chickens, which seems a bit rude to all of those lady chickens if you ask me. As well as being on the tall side, the Brahma is also really rather a feisty kind of fowl. They'll defend themselves and others against smaller predators, and will, frankly, create a clucking big fuss if they feel threatened. Although these birds can seem intimidating, they're not generally threatening to humans at all and can be considered gentle giants. Things have improved a lot for the Brahma since the 1930s, as the rise of the industrial chicken has meant that this breed has been replaced as the most popular eating chicken. <laughs> 
which I'm sure is received as most excellent news to these elegant birds. Again, being the biggest of something can often mean you also provide the most meat, and nobody wants to be the meatiest, really, because that generally makes you the deadest as well. Number 3. The Goliath Bird Eater, the most massive spider in the world. Even in your worst arachnophobic nightmares, you probably never conceived of a spider quite like this horror. I mean, for Pete's sake, the thing is called a bird eater, which is a big clue to this creature's colossal size and general creepiness. With a body the size of a fist, ew, and spanning as much as 11 inches, ooh. The Goliath bird eater stalks the rainforests of Brazil, Venezuela, French Guinea, and Suriname. It is an ambush predator, and rather than hunting, the spider simply lies in wait for its prey to pass before grabbing a hold of it. And its favorite meals? Well, although it's named a bird eater, this spider prefers invertebrates, small rodents, or reptiles, but it isn't unknown for them to actually munch on the occasional bird. Apart from having a creepy name and some shady hunting tactics, the spider's also a night creeper. That's right, the biggest, scariest spider in the world comes out at night to feed. Like some kind of gothic horror plot. When you're all tucked up in your bed tonight, try not to think about these monsters scuttling out of their burrows and doing unspeakable night creeper things. Number 2. Chianina, the largest cattle breed in the world. When cattle are considered the biggest of their kind, you know that's never going to end well for the cattle in question. As far as humans are concerned, a big cow is just more steaks or burgers or pastrami, so it's not a good idea to become the tallest and heaviest breed of cattle, not if you want to make it into adulthood, that is. However, the title of largest cattle breed in the world has to go somewhere, and the unfortunate winner of that death sentence is the Chianina breed. These huge cows have been bred in the Italian regions of Lazio, Umbria, and Tuscany for the last two millennia. In fact, they used to be bred as working animals. Their powerful frames were ideal for pulling plows and carts and whatnot all over the awkward mountainous terrain of central Italy, but the industrialization of farming has meant that the use of these cattle in the fields was for the chop. It sucks for them, because that means their gigantic, meaty bodies were being eyed up as the ideal Bistecca al Fiorentina. That's Florentine steak to you. And as these mighty bovines can reach weights of 3,500 pounds or more, and heights of 6 feet 7 inches, that's a whole lot of steak. Mmm, meaty. Number 1. Reticulated Python the longest ever reticulated python measured an astounding 33 feet long, which is longer than a giraffe is tall, so that is one mighty big snake indeed. They also get really heavy, sometimes weighing a colossal 350 pounds, but what else do they really do besides growing all massive and heavy? Well, these whopping big snakes can be found in the rainforests and grasslands of Southeast Asia, where they mostly mind their own business just eating rodents or wild pigs eggs and the occasional primate. The reticulated python's not usually a massive hazard for humans to navigate, but their paths do sometimes cross, which is not really ideal given the sheer heft of the snakes themselves. They're also not venomous, which is quite the relief, because they are extremely big and strong already so adding a poisonous bite to that combination would be overkill. But just because these snakes don't bite doesn't mean they aren't dangerous. The reticulated python is more than capable of swallowing people whole, and there are occasionally reports of people going missing only for a huge snake with a suspicious bulge to turn up in the vicinity. Ugh. Although reports are rare of reticulated pythons actually eating humans, they do sometimes indulge. So just be careful not to hiss one off. So do you know of any other animals that should be up here on this list? Is biggest always best? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.